After a long, cold winter, the bursting buds and cascades of spring are a natural wonder. Not just stunning to behold, but part of a living process that's crucial to our existence. Pretty much every aspect of human well-being comes down to plants. From food to medicines to processing CO2, plants make living possible. But things are changing. Global warming, population growth and habitat destruction are taking an enormous toll on the Earth's resources. Now, 80 scientists here at Kew have spent a year taking stock of the global plant kingdom, revealing an urgent need for action. If you look at 10 years ago and you look at five years ago, there's been this massive change in land cover type. Over 10% has changed from, let's say, forest to agricultural land. So there is a cause of concern. I think we need to, we need to become sort of global landscape planners to really understand which are the most important areas of the world to conserve because of the plant diversity they contain. Kew Gardens has a botanical pedigree second to none. Established back in 1759, there are more than 8 million specimens in Kew's collection, representing 95% of all known plants on Earth. Amongst them, some famous names. Here a sample from Charles Darwin's Voyage on the Beagle, which helped him shape his seminal work, The Origin of the Species, charting the story of evolution. We can know from their expedition reports, their diaries, we can say, right, this person was here at this time and collected this tree. We know this tree is really rare. When we look on Google Earth, it's palm oil plantation. So not only can you use the modern satellite images for our up-to-date collections, but we can also use the old specimens and map them even now. Just like Victorian times, Q still sends botanists off to scour remote corners of the world looking for specimens. Even today, more than 2,000 new plant discoveries are made every year, adding to this unique bank of data here at Kew. And it's knowledge the report's authors hope will make decision makers sit up and listen. Plants are always the sort of Cinderella of biology in some ways. People don't really care about them enough, and yet how important they are, it cannot be. We re I can't emphasise that enough. We have to get plants up the global agenda, and Q really should be leading in that. The report will be updated annually, a vital resource in understanding perhaps the most important element of the planet's biodiversity in a time when climate change is turning the natural order of things upside down. Nick Clark, Al Jazeera, the Royal Botanic Gardens in London.